Hello everyone, welcome to a simple endgame miniature by the composer Karl Habicht where White plays an outstanding move to win the game with a knight and corner pawn checkmate. I'm not really sure if the text-to-speech software pronounced his name correctly, sorry lol. In this position, only five pieces are on the board, namely the white's king, black's king, a white pawn, a black pawn, and a white knight. This position seems unwinnable but as always, if you think enough you will find the win. As you can see, the white's last pawn on the board is about to be captured, and knight g4 to save it is just a stalemate, while the other knight move allows black to push his pawn and attack the knight, where h4 is met by the on passant and white cannot checkmate black in time before stalemate. This suggests the move h3, but after king h2, the pawn is again lost. Looks like the starting position is already a dead draw. White has the outstanding brilliant move pawn to h6, seemingly giving away white's last hope of winning the game. Of course it's all just another illusion, as after black takes our pawn, otherwise we would make a new queen, black's g pawn is now an h pawn. But seems like the only way to force a checkmate in the corner like this is with black's pawn being on h3, and again this position looks like a dull draw shouldn't game. But anyway, white can force that to happen with knight g4, now it isn't a stalemate with black's only legal move, h3. Now white has to give a check on f2 and then covers the g3 square with knight e4, forcing the king back to the corner followed by king f2. A waiting move and free up f1 for the knight. Pawn to h2 is met by knight g3 checkmate, black only other move was king h2, allowing white's knight to maneuver to the square f1 now covering h2, forcing pawn to h2 and finishes the game of with knight to g3 checkmate. I hope you enjoy this elegant miniature. Subscribe to Karl Habicht ok I'm just kidding and see you in the next one, goodbye.